There are three um, interrelated words in our vocabulary, and uh, these words are information, knowledge, and wisdom. Three words that once you spend enough time in thinking of them separately, you can start to appreciate them a lot. But at the same time, these are related in the sense that one seems to guide you towards the next step. So it begins with information and then it becomes knowledge and should end with a lot of wisdom. Let me give you very simple definitions of these words. Information is purely speaking raw communication. These are facts provided and received about something or someone. What is knowledge? So knowledge adds the experience to the information that was received. This is the theoretical and practical understanding of information. Then where is, and what is wisdom? Wisdom is the quality of the experience. Again, three words that one seems to guide you to the other one, making it a full experience from information to knowledge, from knowledge to wisdom. Why am I bringing this to, to you this morning? Is because when I read from the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8, I saw this very similar pattern through the life of Joshua when God gives him that very first crucial, important advice. Let me read it for you. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. God says to Joshua, Keep this book of law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Amazing. Promise. A guide towards the promise. The book of Joshua is the story when the Israelites attack Canaan. There are some stories that probably you remember or you've learned them about crossing the Jordan or the walls of Jericho. As Joshua is the successor of Moses, God, God speaks to him and kind of lays the, the, the future, the near future of his people under his leadership. And what I love about this book that it leads them towards God renewing his covenant with his people. And Joshua had it clear. You probably will remember even this, these verses, his words, when Joshua addresses people telling them, decide today whom you will serve. And then he continues, but as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. Now, the sentence spoken by God to Joshua seems to unpack the pattern that I was talking about. It begins with the information. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. If you're like me, I can, I can silently read a book, but I have to highlight, I have to put some colors, my own notes. Still, I remember it best when I read it out loud. It seems like when I read it in my lips, right, it, it helps me to remember, analyze, and digest what I'm reading. So the first thing to do is to know where to find that information. It says that information is in the book of the law that should be always on your lips. Let me ask you how much information do you get from the book of the law, from your Bible, from the scripture. How much information does come into your mind and heart every day and all the time? Once you consume the information from the scriptures, next is knowledge. Remember, knowledge was adding experience. Now, practicing that information. That's when you realize when you should find that information. Meditate on it, says, day and night. When it's bright in your life, when it's dark in your life. When you can see in your life, when you just can't see what's coming up in your life, that's knowledge. 
when you take information and you add experience to it. Well, that follows with the third one, that is wisdom. It says, so that you may be careful to do everything that is written in it. I told you wisdom is the quality of the experience. A bad experience, it's a bad experience. A good one, it's a good one. What do you do with it tells you the quality of the experience. So when you have God's word, information on your lips, constantly receiving, then you begin to practice and recreate experiences. The third one is to make sure that you're having and keeping that good experience. For then you can have the same promise spoken to Joshua into your life. And here's the promise. Then you will be prosperous and successful when you receive information when you add your experience to gain knowledge and you keep that good quality of experience to act in wisdom you have the promise of god sent prosperity and success god says it i'm just reminding you about it there's a quote that it's spoken it's it's given by jim ron and it reads such so this, finding is reserved for those that search. So finding God sent success and blessing seems to be reserved for those who go to the scriptures, search for information, experience knowledge, and gain wisdom. Isn't that awesome? Simple, a life lesson for me and you to follow and enjoy God's blessing so remember you look you find and then you enjoy god bless you